Welcome back into Wake Up America. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. The world is continuing to watch the war unfold in Ukraine now in its 22nd day, so entering its fourth week. And the refugee crisis in Eastern Europe is continuing to get worse. But we are focused on our own southern border this morning. Our next guest is taking real steps to solve that problem. Joining us now, Iowa Congresswoman Ashley Hinson. Uh, Congresswoman, good to have you back on this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. Um, I just want to get your reaction to President Zelensky's 19-minute speech yesterday. He addressed Congress. Uh, it was a packed house. Um, how did it land in the room? And, and really, it's rare that both houses are gathered together. What were the conversations like after the speech happened when you all you know, got together and, and had coffee and, and did that sort of thing? Yeah. Well, I can say that it was certainly an emotional experience hearing from President Zelensky, and uh, my heart goes out to every Ukrainian. Uh, I think that they know that Iowans and Americans stand with them in their fight against um, this uh, un unprecedented invasion by Russia. And um, in the room yesterday, I think it was very clear there is um, some consensus on the fact that we do need to make sure we continue to get lethal aid to Ukraine, because we know if they were uh, battling on you know willpower alone, that they would have this war won already. Uh, but they they just need our help. And so that is what our conversations are about right now. How can we, in addition to the humanitarian aid, make sure they get the lethal aid that they need? Did you think the president's $800 billion package that he announced later in the day, does that go far enough to addressing that? Well, I think there are certainly some policy changes we also need to look at. Um, as you know, it's not about always throwing money at a problem. And so we need to have a serious discussion about what our role is in this conflict going forward. And I think that's what you'll see unfold here on Capitol Hill in the next few weeks. OK, I want to talk about the situation at our own southern border. We are off to a worse start in 2022 than we were one year ago when Joe Biden took office, which is hard to imagine. Um, I've heard comparisons made between the refugee crisis in Eastern Europe and the illegal immigration issue uh, at our own southern border. These are two different things. These refugees are being welcomed with open arms. These uh, illegal immigrants are breaking the law. That's the first thing they do when they cross over into sovereign U.S. soil is, is commit a federal offense. Um, you have got a bill uh, that is right now going through the process to hold the Biden administration accountable uh, and release really important border data. Take us through what this would do. Right. So we've had dodge after dodge over the last year from this administration because President Biden's policies at the border are a complete failure. We know those encounters with illegal immigrants are surging at our southern border. Deportations are down. Um, this administration has cut off ICE from being able to actually do its job. So we wanted access to that information. So I introduced a resolution of inquiry to force the, uh, the administration's hand here because, as I've said, they have basically refused to answer our questions now for over a year. And Iowans want answers. Americans deserve answers to these questions as to why this administration is cutting off our border patrol and ICE agents at the knees. So, so that's exactly what this is designed to do, is to put pressure on them to get those answers. Why are deportations down? How many illegal immigrants have come across our southern border? Do you know where they are? Can you track them? Uh, we, we have hunches on what the answers to these questions are. But again, we want solid answers from the administration. What are your hunches? Well, uh, if you look at the numbers, 164,000 plus immigrant, uh, illegal immigrants came across the southern border this February, the most for February ever. Um, our hunch is that they, they know they can't track these people. Americans want a plan for how to address these challenges at our southern border, this crisis at our southern border. And so that's what we're after here. We want to pressure the administration to come up with an actual plan to secure our southern border. Uh, it's been almost a year since our vice president was named the border czar. What has come from that? Secretary Mayorkas, uh, what a, a void in leadership at the Department of Homeland yeah. Security. It's exactly why I've called for his resignation, because we need a real plan, because at this point, this is continues to be a safety and security issue for Iowans and Americans. Congresswoman, keep doing the, uh, the work you're doing up there on the Hill. We appreciate it. Thanks for the update. It's amazing. You represent the state of Iowa, not a border state, but this is a national issue that affects all 50 states. Uh, we appreciate it. By the way, I think that Iowa plays their first game in the NCAA tournament tonight. Is that right? Uh, and we've got Iowa and Iowa State both in the tournament. So um, we are represented well in the. Uh, let me get <laughs> let me get now. You're in Iowa State. Is that can you can, can you do that, by the way, on network television? Because I don't want you to alienate, you know, Iowa voters vote, too. <laughs> well, my husband went to Iowa State, but we cheer for all the Iowa teams. When That's there's the answer. There's the answer. Yes. All right. Congressman, good to see you. Uh, go Iowa and Iowa State. Uh, thank you very much. We'll see you again soon. 
Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.